Okay, so I've got a number of parts in there, and I'm just taking a basic average reading there, and we're looking at 39 at the moment. Okay, this is 2 hours at uh, 68 degrees centigrade. And we can see that it's still holding on there. Yeah. So that's without the without me even compressing it. You know, that's just it bonded to the bonded to the material. And we can see that it's still bonded good there. that one, we can just see the colour in the back. This one's fine, that's a super glue, this one. I'm going to be using the super glue and uh, the nitro to connect them together. That's a super glue on there as well. bubbling away there. So I've got a total of four, I've got two hours at 67 degrees centigrade and I've got four and a half hours at 73 degrees centigrade and if we check the items we can see that the super glue's held just fine as has this and this and we can see if we look through for the back that there is that brown discoloration that we've seen it looks like we've got a wee bit of give there in that corner or perhaps not, it's maybe just a wee air bubble but it looks like it's all still intact it's still intact and a big one still intact so that really does the job it's still intact yep let's come off of the off of that right enough but it's still on the stainless Yep, so that's like six and a half hours up around 70 odds, up around the 70 mark. That's centigrade. And that's just peeling off. That's come off. But the nitro gasket's fine and the, the silicone that we're using is fine fix all. I'm quite happy with that. Oh, there's our, you see that pattern company, how it's, that's the, the JP Weld, you see that? When heat's added, it stayed in one piece, but you can see it there. That's when it starts to expand and contract with the, I'm surprised this one, oh, no, it's, it's actually, there it goes, look. That's the JP weld, or the JB weld, whatever it's called. The epoxy. You can see it's party company. It stays in one piece. Okay, it's the 26th of April. I started at 8.50. Um, I run it up to 82 degrees. Uh, 9.50, it was still sitting at 82 and it's still sitting at 82 and we can see we've got a a bit of pressure in there as well so I'm just going to turn it off now let it sort of cool down a bit and we'll open it up and just check them so that's a couple of hours it's been in there at 82 
plus the hours we done yesterday which was uh, six and a half hours um, I know my machines are not going to hit 82 degrees but I might take it up to the next jack it up to 92 just below boiling point I didn't really want to separate them if I can get away with it because I want to do a freezing test on them as well I want to see how well they do when they're frozen then thawed out ok that's the super glue so let me take that out of my mouth I'm trying to stop smoking I've got one of the smoking things that's the silica flex and the super glues adhered really well to the to the PVC I mean that's alright, it's, it's peeled a wee slight bit there but uh, I'm actually having to peel it I'm not wanting to do that just now because it's, if it's no broke don't break it that's adhered really well, as uh, that's super glue they've, they've done pretty well and if you look through through the back we can see that through the back we've not got any pattern so that's, that's done pretty well on there and it's still adhered on there even even this the balloon materials is done pretty well on that uh, though it's part of company with everything else now I'm going to do the up oh, there we go that's that piece of what do you call it um, it was sitting there the other day it was sitting under there the epoxy yeah it was sitting under there it's kind of loosened that top part off there and what we see is we've had undermining going on since it's been loose but it's still fairly adhered at the bottom and this one's still I don't know if I caught that on camera there <laughs> um, that was sitting under there the other day, we can see that in the other test and when that came loose and came off it's left the water to go underneath and the KOH so it's been undermined as they call it <coughs> this one here it's still intact you gotta remember this is boiling away for eight and a half hours now so Oh, six and a half hours yesterday at 70 degrees and two hours this morning at 82 degrees that's centigrade I'm using um, so and it's a heavy concentration of a KOH I mean look that's just peeling as well that's the the roofing material the flame. this is about as boiling as I'm going to make it to be honest If it withstands that, I would say it's got every chance of withstanding my, my cell. Hey guys, I've got the window open because it's just full of steam, eh? So, um, these are a bit, that's come off that one. That's come off that one, that's super glue. That doesn't exactly surprise me. <laughs> this one's completely melted but hey ho you know it's still stuck on there surprisingly enough actually and that is quite surprising this one's still stuck on this is all as is that that's beginning to go in that corner this one was gone the last time if you remember it was sat with that the stuff underneath it the JP weld that gave it a weakness but uh, it's still stuck down in that far corner it's still fairly stuck here considering it's been boiled and boiled 
and uh, it's well stuck on this side. This one is okay. The JP Weld again. Although it's it's uh, got the the fix all in the centre, so the fix all's still holding. But the, the JP Weld covering is. Well, this is not actually a JP Weld. To be fair, this is uh, an epoxy that I'm using as a similar demonstration as a JP Weld or JB Weld, whatever. Okay. These are doing it minus 18. Minus 15 and it's minus 23 in there all together. That's alright. See, that's okay. That's me really picking at that, eh? PVC. Take them out of the window. Okay, that's like minus whatever it was there. Frozen cold. And we can see that it's okay. I don't think the cold's going to bother these, you know, I don't think we're going to have any trouble when it's frozen or if it's frozen. And this one will just let that one thaw out there. Very discoloured, uh, if I can just, very discoloured, but uh, it's went opaque, but it's still, uh, I can't quite get a view and, but it's still absolutely stuck to the sides there, it's no came loose at all. But you can see that it's a fairly thick bead. I mean, that's that's my thumb there, and it's it's a fairly thick bead on there. But it hasn't it hasn't parted at all. And like I say, it's it's discoloured. It's went from clear to a very opaque colour. But like I, I was saying, this was done in like uh, two thousand and nine, January two thousand and nine. And I've had um, caustic soda, you call it lie in America, uh, KOH and all sorts of stuff in there. Everything you can imagine that you've used, I've used in this test unit when I've been testing plates. And this has just had the, the, the heavy concentration of lie in, uh, of KOH in there since February. And it's now the end of April, so, and it's not done any harm. It's completely still stuck on there. You know? It's not coming off at all. And I don't expect it to. Okay, so um, that's said and done. You can see it's... It's fine. 